Wow, that was a wild night. It sure was. I'm hungry. Me too. What? Wasabi ginger sauce. Reynolds oven bags. Toothpicks. Mm. Well, at least the oven bag's turkey size. At least. Jar of water. It's a brine. What's it doing here? Hmm, don't know, not ours. No food, no food. I'm feeling like we forgot something though. Yeah, grocery shopping. Something else. What was it? We did forget about Madeline. Morning. Morning. Nah. Hey, what happened? Man, I can't remember anything after the club. What are we gonna do? Man, Mr. Roden's gonna get us. Be sure to get her out of here. Yeah! Ready, Glenn? Ready, Madeline? Where are we going? I'm gonna hide you from Roden. Hello, this is Roden. Well, isn't it my favorite nephew? Hi, Uncle. How's prison? <sighs> I heard a rumor you haven't found Madeline yet. Yes, we've had some complications. Well, if you can't handle two private investigators... I'm not sure that they are private investigators. My informant at the police station hasn't been able to locate them. I will not spend the rest of my life in prison! Look, I only have a little bit of time before the guards find my hidden cell phone. My informant at the police station assures me that she'll find out where they're operating out of. Well, she better. I'm still hungry. Me too. Do you think we should just pull over at some random stranger's house and eat there? Uh, I don't know. Didn't work out so well the last time. You remember the magic meatloaf? Ooh, good point. We just need to find a restaurant that's open on Thanksgiving. Wait, is that a payphone? Chinese food, that'll be open. Hello, China Power, this is Min. Yeah, I'd like to order, I'd like to, what do we want? I'd like some pizza, but they're not gonna do that. Uh, mushu pork. Okay, I'd like some mushu pork. And also some general salad chicken. Pints or quarts? Oh, definitely a quart. Well, two, three, make it five quarts. Everybody loves general salad chicken. What do you think that'll go on? Eh, get her like a pint of food right now. Great, that'll be... Oh, we're not done. Okay. Throw in six egg rolls. Pour a wonton soup. Yeah, and... You don't know me. I'm Lieutenant Veronica Vicks from the Bay Police Station. Oh, you must work with my friend Reigns. Exactly. I actually need your help locating these two guys. <sighs> what have they done now? No, no, nothing like that. I just can't seem to find where they operate out of. I have their address. Yeah. So let me see if I can get this straight. One pint of mushu pork, one pint of muku gai pan, a dozen egg rolls, a quart of wonton soup, and a quart of egg drop soup. An order of pan-fried dumplings, fried wontons, two orders of crab rangoon, a pint of pepper steak, seven quarts of general salad chicken, two quarts of house special fried rice, three pints of shrimp lo mein, a quart of beef chow fun wide noodles, 
and a quart of chicken chow fun thin noodles, and a box of four chicken noodles. Spare ribs! Oh, throw in some of those chicken spare ribs! And an order of spare ribs. Okay, the total comes to two thirty-six fifty-four. Having a big party, are you? Nope, just the three of us. So far. Okay, uh, so where do you want us to deliver this? That's a really good question. Hello? Hey, Buffy! How's our little Slayer? Hi, John. Yeah, we wanted to come over and bring a crap load of Chinese food. And we got this girl who's on the run from the mob. Yeah, that's really funny. Okay, anyway, what'd you need? No, seriously, we do have a whole bunch of Chinese food to bring over. Yeah, I'd love to, but I'm leaving for Chicago in about 20 minutes to see my parents. Enough about Chinese, then. How's the pizza business? Yeah, it's been really insane lately. Apparently, Hollywood Pizza lasts a couple of guys, so we've been taking all their business. Gosh, that's wild. How's Casey holding up? Actually, he's doing pretty good. Um, his sister's down here visiting for the holidays from college, so... Is she hot? Um, yeah, I guess she's pretty attractive. Does she happen to have Casey's address? Yeah, I think so. Why? Dinner's almost ready. Thanks, Casey. Guys, it's Thanksgiving. You must be Stacy. My name's John. This is Glenn and Madeline. Madeline's on the run from the mob. Hope you like Chinese food. Okay, so who are these guys? Who are we? Stacy, who's this guy? That's my boyfriend from college, Steve. Hey Stacy, just just to check. Does your brother have gravy? Sweet potatoes? Parmesan cheese? Parmesan cheese? On turkey? Aha! You can't do Thanksgiving without Parmesan cheese! You two, go to the store and get it! You heard the man! Anyway, it's not like the stores will be that packed on Thanksgiving Day. Man, these guys sound crazy. They are, and I just don't know how to get rid of them. A baseball bat. It's been tried. That type of thing just doesn't work. So how do you guys know my brother? Well, we like pizza. And hot girls. And hot girls work for your brother. Pizza plus girls equals fun. Plus cards. Plus Mexico. Oh! <laughs> Stacy, thanks for letting me change out those clothes. Oh, I called the Chinese food place and they said that we're out of their area. Damn! Well, you guys, Casey's been making dinner. We really had our hearts set on Chinese food. Yeah, we got all that food just sitting there at China Power. Got it. What are we going to do about Rodin? Well, look at it like this. If we don't know what we're doing next... Rodin definitely doesn't. Have you found out where they live? Empty. Man, that egg roll was worse than the magic meatloaf. And that's saying something. I have the cheese. I want you guys out of here! Is the cheese shredded? Well, it's a block of cheese. I told you. There's just no way to fight it. Man, is there any point in us going back? Not really. You hungry for some pizza? Sounds like you had quite a week. You know... For as crazy as it's been, I'm really surprised Rodin's Deadly Attack Squad hasn't gotten me. Deadly Attack Squad? 
Yeah, he had four expertly trained enforcers. The first is called Middle Caesar. He's an expert marksman. It's said that he always hits what he aims at. And then there's Pablo the Gun, and he's an expert with knives. Then why is it called Pablo the Gun? Yeah, I'm trying not to remember. The next is the mysterious Doran. No one knows very much about him, except he is rumored to be deadly. The final one is Marco the Unkillable. It's said that he's been shot four times, stabbed, bashed with a lead pipe and chain whip, and it barely fazed him. It's said that he had to be hit by a truck to stop him. That sounds intense. Once Rodin found out that John and Glenn were protecting me, he should have sent his men out to get me. I wonder what happened. Dave! Sorry guys, filling out that paperwork took a lot longer than I thought. Yeah, that kind of thing can take a while. Awesome. Glenn, call Betty up. Sure. She's one of the cops from last night, and one of them works for Rodin. Probably her. Where are you guys? Word on the street is that Rodin has a $25,000 bounty on each of your heads. Wow! 25000 each? Yeah, so you get the idea? We're up to 25000 each! Wow! That's the highest we've ever gotten! Yeah! That we know of. Hey, Betty, it's John. You guys have got to get down here. We got your evidence. I'll come just meet you where you are, okay? Nah, I don't think so. There's most likely someone in your department working for Rodin. Well... Instead of you coming here, let's meet back at our place. Bring Veronica. Great, both of the cops? Okay, I'll see you guys soon. You see, we just can't decide which one of them's working for Rodin. They're both just so hot. It's a real problem. Yay, we're all going to the trap, right? No, no, no. Glenn and I have to go alone. There's something we want you to help us with. Finally, where have you been? Sorry for the delay. Did you bring the evidence? Of course we did! Well, give it to us. Wait, do I hear something behind the couch? <gasps> Rodin! Looks like you're in trouble, Rodin. That's where you're wrong. Sorry, Betty. It was the brunette that was working for Rodin. What? I've got you beat. Except for one thing. Thrasher? I'm a boss. Surprise, freak! Boss, baby, I'm a boss. Boss, boss. Call it yeah! Shots. Do I get hurt too? Baby, I'm a boss. I'm afraid we need them both for cards. Eh, I still get to beat them up before I take them to the police, right? What? Well, Thrasher, that's up to you. Make your hair with all them pennies and them dogs. So, wrench or crowbar? I'm confused. Me too. Who was that guy? Everything's pretty much worked out. Now if we only had some food! Have the Chinese food! Thank you so much for helping me. So what can we do for you? I'm sorry, my name's Madeline Shade. I'm being hunted down by Mr. Rodin. You haven't heard of Mr. Rodin? He's in all the newspapers. He's only the nephew of mob boss Big Tony Malone. So, what's the problem? Well, the problem is I'm the star witness at Big Tony's trial. I get it. So while Big Tony's in jail, Mr. Rodin's running things, and he wants to kill you! Well, I guess we can help her, right? Yeah. Just, just one question. What brings you to us? Oh, well, I have your card. <laughs> okay, so what do we do now? Well, Glenn and 
to have some connections with the police department. No, you can't do that. Mr. Roden has his hands in the police department. Hmm. Well, Glenn and I can go by ourselves. Yeah. Oh. Can't leave her. Dave! Oh! Aha! A secret knock. Dave! Come on in! This is Dave. Hey, I'm Madeline. See you, Dave. So do you work with John and Glenn? Nope. Do you know if they've handled a lot of cases like this before? Nope. Do you know when they're going to be back? Nope. Well, what do you want to do now? I've been waiting for you to ask. Is Lieutenant Rains available? I'm afraid she's on vacation. Damn! Is there something we can help you with? Well, sure. My name's John, and this is Glenn. What are your names? Oh, I'm so sorry I didn't introduce myself. My name is Lieutenant Betty Barker. And I'm Veronica Vick. Betty and Veronica? Like the Archie comics? <laughs> oh, I think I've heard Rains mention you before. Well, we were wondering what sort of evidence you would need to arrest someone. Yeah, some guy named Roden. Roden? What do you two guys have to do with Roden? Well, we're private investigators. Sort of. Basically. We were hired by Madeline Shade. But I thought you guys worked with stocks or bonds or something. Well, that's a funny story, really. You see, there was this mix-up with our business cards. Yeah, see, it says private investigators, but it's supposed to say private investors. So anyway, what would you need to arrest Roden? It's really a complicated question. You two know where Madeline Shade is. Betty, I, I have to make a phone call. Okay. You know, I really just don't think I'm in the mood for cards. Well, we do have options. John and Glenn don't like them, but I have dice! I wonder who that could be. Dave? Hey, Dorothy. Um, I just drove four hours to Whole Foods to pick up my special brine for my heritage turkey, and now I've been locked out of my house. I need to refrigerate this stuff, so I'm just going to go put it in the fridge. I guess I'll just put the brine in the cupboard. I just know I'm going to forget it. What are you playing? Dice! I thought John and Glenn said you weren't allowed to play with dice anymore. Yeah, but they're not going to be back for a while. <sighs> I know I have a spare key around here somewhere. You know where it is? Nope. Oh. Hello, this is Doran. I found Madeline. Let me talk to Rodin. No, he's taking his nap. Well, get him on the phone. No one disturbs him while he's napping. Okay, fine. What do I do then? Well, I don't know. Get her there with you. All right. So what exactly is a heritage turkey? Um, 
heritage turkeys? Well, they're not your big breasted variety. Oh no, these are from the 1700s. And by eating heritage turkeys, you're actually keeping the past alive. Well, that sounds healthy. Look what I found. Now, space is a little difficult to play with three players. So we're going to play a different game called Cucumber. It's much better. It's a Danish game. Um, but wait a second. What does this have to do with finding rodent? Nothing. Anyway, in Cucumber, there are actually two variations, but in either variation, you start with eight cards. Hey, guys. I was just in the evidence room, and I think if we can get Madeline here, we can put together a case. Is there any way we can get Madeline here? Well, sure. Hey, Glenn, can you call Dave up again to bring Madeline over here? John and Glenn want us to meet them at the police station. But... Uh, if John and Glenn want us to go, it's safe. But what, what about Dorothy? She's still asleep. Leave her. I'm a boss. Crusher! Hey, it is! Wow! Hey, buddy. How's it going? You! trouble if you try and strangle me. This is a police station. Uh, so, how's the food? Oh, God! Veronica, what do you think of this whole situation? Betty, I think Rodin is way too dangerous. I have to take this call, Betty. Oh. Hello? I heard you found Madeline. Yeah, I got her coming here. That's insane. Not even you could get rid of her in a police station. But that's what Doran told me to do. Doran's an idiot. But I thought... I don't pay you to think. Look, get her to come over here to my club. Then she'll be easy to get rid of. Yes, Mr. Odin. The thing I love about spades is the tactical side to it. Ugh. You get to make plans ahead. Oh, it's beautiful. Dirt choke's all right for a Russian game, but... Cucumber's really the ultimate party game. Oh, gotta go. Good talking to you, Thresher. <sighs> yeah? I got an idea. Oh! Thresher! Ah, you too? <laughs> Thresher, 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 Thresher. I believe I have a deal for you. Captain Todd? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but could, could you just back up just a little bit? I'm sorry, but I, I had an incident a few years ago with uh, with a bathroom, and I, I'm very claustrophobic. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're one of Reigns' friends. What can I do for you? We're wondering if you could help us cut past the red tape and get this prisoner named Thrusher released. I, I, really, I would really like to help you. It's just the, the regulations and rules and everything. You hey, who's this actually... little guy? That's Snuggles. He helped me cope throughout these past few years with, with the claustrophobia. And uh, if, you, if you could just not do that, that would be great. Uh, we've had a lot of moments together. All right, all right, all right. I'll, 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 I'll let him go. I'll let him go. Oh! All right, so we're basically set up. But we need someone to fill out all the release paperwork. There you guys are. I've been looking for you everywhere. Oh, hey, Veronica! Hey, Dave! I was rethinking things, and you two should bring Madeline down to Rodin's club to collect more evidence. Dave's almost here! That's great! We can take Madeline, and Dave can handle the paperwork! Oh! Some taco salad I try to be my tab But my card came back invalid Posted on the wall Like a floral decoration I asked a girl to dance But she denied my proposition Last bitch Last bitch Last bitch
Ladies and gentlemen, get out your seats and put your hands together because you're a club rodent. Oh, sorry. Your voice sounds familiar. The name's Dorn. From Hollywood Pizza? Yeah. What's with the row? I'm a henchman now. Pizza didn't pay the bills. Huh. Fair enough. Good seeing you. Hey, I just ran into Dorn. Hollywood Pizza Dorn? Yeah. This man is really weird. bro. Oh man, I gotta see this. Come on. Bought a girl a drink and she asked for another. Brought her home with me, but she woke up with my brother. I don't know about that room. What do you think, Nylon? Does that make him more or less attractive? I don't know. It's pretty weird. What? The moment you've all been waiting for. South America's number one dancer! Oh, it's so good to have my main man here tonight. Hey, that guy's pretty good. Yo, I never met anyone who could beat my man here on the dance floor. I have never met the men. I think we could do better. What are you talking about? Glenn? Guys, don't! What are you doing? Yo, man, I think some cats out there are challenging you. They're not even in my league. But you, my chance. Oh, uh, you guys want to dance? I'll give you something special. We'll light it up again. The sky and our silhouettes. Dancing on the pavement. Caught in a perfect storm. You and those eyes again.
henchmen and quit. Dude, we totally nailed that guy! Dinner!
Greetings, shortcake. Don't forget to subscribe to the KKP YouTube channel.